I don't know that I'd go so far as to say this is the most deceptive marketing campaign I've ever seen for a movie, but it's definitely not an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie or a good movie. So let's talk about it. Killing Gunther, a group of assassins group together to stop and kill the world's greatest assassin, Gunther. The whole story is told through kind of a mockumentary style with the film crew following them around with kind of their exploits, people being interviewed, talking to the camera. That's the setup for our movie and Arnold Schwarzenegger plays Gunther. Now, as I alluded to before, if you've looked at any of the marketing for this movie, whether the trailers, if you look it up on Rotten Tomatoes, if you Google search it, all the images that come up prominently show Arnold Schwarzenegger as the face of this movie that they're putting forward as, hey, look, Arnold Schwarzenegger's the greatest assassin in the world. Come out and check out this movie where he's in this action comedy mockumentary as Gunther, the assassin that everyone wants to kill. Here's the problem with all this. I guess this is a spoiler, but he's not in the first hour and five minutes of the movie. I, I checked the time on this. He comes in at an hour and seven minutes into the movie, and the movie's only 90 minutes long. So, over two-thirds of the movie pass, then he shows up in the movie. And when he shows up, he's very prominent in the movie. But... There's over an hour where they're waiting for you to meet Gunther and they're trying to track him down and he's not in the movie until the third act of the film. Also, the marketing shows that Colby Smulders in it. If you Google search it, it shows her name actually is the first name that comes up with the cast for the movie. She has under five minutes of screen time in this movie. Now, this is very important as I'm kind of giving the synopsis of the film to give you proper expectations and it's not really spoiler territory. This is just establishing what the movie actually is. It's not a movie about Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's the MacGuffin that they're trying to track down. He's the one that they're tracking down. It's not a movie starring him. And it's also not a funny movie or a good movie. I don't really have too many good things to say about this one. So let's get into the good. Um, the premise is good. And casting Arnold in this role in theory is good. Potentially, I was excited about this movie because the idea of a mockumentary about a bunch of people trying to stop Arnold Schwarzenegger's The World's Greatest Assassin, on paper, that sounds really good to me. That's the end of my positive things to say. The general premise and Arnold in that role. So let's move on to the bad. And the problem here is it's just not funny. Uh, it's, it's that mockumentary improv style comedy where they just kind of hit record and guys just start riffing back and forth with types of jokes and you know the, the dialogue and the quips back and forth clearly improvised. And that's the whole movie. And you got several different uh, alumni from Saturday Night Live in here, a couple other familiar faces, but mostly people you're like, oh, I've seen them from this or I've seen them from that, but not people that you're like real heavy hitters and they're just, it's improv night at the comedy club for an hour and a half with a premise that you could have some good ideas with. There's people that have pulled off this sort of improv stuff, like all the Christopher Guest stuff going back to this is Spinal Tap and Waiting for Guffman and all this. Like, there are people that have pulled this off. This crew does not pull it off at, at all. And so that's really the ultimate problem here is you got an action comedy where you don't laugh at all. And so an hour and seven minutes of it's awkward, painfully unfunny and then Arnold shows up, and it's slightly more charming, and it's still painfully unfunny. So the movie's written, directed, and starring Teron Killam. I, I guess he's a Saturday Night Live guy, and he's married to Colby Smulders. That's why she's in this. And uh, it, it, it just, it's so frustrating to watch a movie that you could see what he was trying to do, and why I thought, oh man, I'll get these people. Oh, we got Arnold. This will be perfect. And then the end result, it's it's just awkward. Uh, it feels kind of cliche where they take the plot and the reason that they're actually out to get Gunther and just there's so much humor in it that's cheating where it's not actual jokes. It's like absurdist type humor in a movie that's otherwise not really absurdist, especially when it, there's some stuff with some costumes in infiltrating different people that makes no sense at all given the movie that you're watching. It's just like, haha, wouldn't this be a funny joke? No, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. You're breaking the rules of the movie that we're watching. 
And so all in all, it doesn't work. And I'm wondering, like, like why is it that some of these TV shows like The Office and Parks and Rec that use this sort of style and where does, why does it kind of work? Well, if you stop and think about The Office and Parks and Rec, both of those shows kind of took a full shortened season to get going. They weren't, their first seasons are pretty awkward and they didn't find their groove yet. And then as they went along, they got a lot better. And I'm wondering like with this movie, if that's part of the problem, you, you get a 30 day shoot for this movie. There's not a lot of time for them to practice, run through things. So it's just kind of everybody shows up and they're kind of winging it, riffing a little bit. And by the time maybe they started to get into their group of how these characters could have had the right repertoire and kind of make everything work, they're done shooting and they move past it. And so you never get a good performance. You never get that right. Feel like they really got everything working. And I wonder if that's kind of what happened here. But all in all, I, I just did not like this. My wife wasn't laughing. She kept going, are you serious? I thought you told me this was an Arnold movie. We have not seen Arnold yet. We're an hour into this movie and we haven't seen Arnold yet. And we neither went. There was a couple times we were like, huh. that was it. And so, yeah, uh, I, I, I was going to say... I, I'm upset that I'm giving such a bad review to an Arnold movie, but it's not an Arnold movie. It's a Taron Killam movie that's not good. I, I think that's how you pronounce I don't know. I actually have no clue how you pronounce the guy's name. And based on this, don't really care to know how to pronounce his name. All in all, I'm going to give this one a 4.5 out of 10. It's not funny. The action's not interesting. Um, the, the special effects in it are laughably bad. And it doesn't feel like they were trying to be. There's just like bad Photoshop that you're like, Oh, that's uncomfortable to look at. And then the After Effects special effects stuff with explosions feels like stuff that's only slightly better than what I can do. And I'm a guy that's shooting on a webcam right now and have poster board on my wall as a green screen. So I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm like, I could almost do what you guys did. That's not a good sign. If I'm being honest, this is pretty embarrassing for everyone involved. And I there's I can't think of anyone I would recommend this to. It's it's not good. It does not work. It's it's a bad movie that I feel bad that Arnold was in it. Um, so that's my take on it. How about you? What did you think about it? Did you have a better experience with it than I did? Because I, I didn't care for it at all. So let's get a lively discussion going down below. If you're new to my channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button. I do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos. But the key thing is I don't want to just talk about movies. I want to talk about movies with you. So please comment down below. I do read them. I do try to respond to as many as is possible. And as always, 